So it's been a really long time since I've talked to y'all because stuff and things. So I'm Tree and this is Project Transparency and I have a musically accompanied tour of our decorations for Yule because we celebrate Yule in this house. <laughs> kind of disappeared off the face of the planet, which happens periodically. I don't get on well with late fall and winter. I I, it's like, I never had that problem until I moved to Wisconsin, and now I have this problem, and it's got to be less light, and usually there's snow up to my eyeballs, and which is not as impressive as you would think it is, because I'm not even five foot. <clears throat> but... Yeah, this year is just rainy and kind of bleak, and I think it's actually making it worse because it reminds me of living in Carbondale, and I never had these problems in Carbondale, so now I'm like not really homesick because I only lived there for eight years, but I miss Carbondale because of the rain. I'm not even sure that makes any sense, and I'm probably babbling today. I, I have no idea what I'm going to talk to y'all about. I just feel like there needs to be an end of the year reckoning or something and getting back into the practice of back into the practice of vlogging as part of my, my, my art practice because it kind of went out the window there for a while because of things like NerdCon Stories which again was amazing and I am have it like marked on my calendar and like two months in advance to like start stalking everything in case I miss the announcement for for the the con and vendors again because yes we are going to do the thing again and speaking of that I have been accepted to the Minneapolis Minnesota Comic Con in May so I'm coming back to Minneapolis yay Kermit flail of leaf um, I have a bunch of other bunch of other applications out for um, conventions. I have one out for C3, E3, E3, C3, C2, E2, R2, D2, whatever it is. In Chicago, I have one out to it. I always forget what it's called and can never remember what the acronym stands for either. Weirdly, it's like the same weekend as NAEA, which is the National Arts Educators Association National Conference, which if I was still doing my PhD, I'd be going to that, so irony. <laughs> and I've also applied for Anime Milwaukee and Kitsune Con, which is here in Green Bay, so it'd actually like, be nice to not have to like run all over the universe for that. And Convergence, though I have no idea when they're going to tell me. And ASIN, I looked at Gen Con and just nuked out so hard I can't because they don't have an artist alley. All they have are vendors and exhibitors and they're, it's going to be years before I was the dosh to be able to do something like that. So yes, there you go. The, the, the business-y con side of my art practice. Yay! Things I have picked up recently. I've picked up encaustic. I've picked up encaustic in this way that probably isn't how encaustic is actually done because I don't have um, enough cups to heat the wax yet and I don't have a thing to heat the wax. Well, okay, technically I have a thing to heat the wax. I just haven't bothered to get it out because I've been lazy and I'm still trying to clean my studio after <laughs> this last year 
of, you know, the, well not last year, the last couple months of intense activity. Uh, so I'm doing all of it with like a heat gun, which is kind of entertaining, and yes, finally using that heat gun I, I got for I have no idea why, but yes, I am. And I've also picked up the stuff to do impro improvised screen printing, which means tentacle made goods can soon be screen printed by me, at least, you know, in a simplistic, not, you know, not like this kind of manner. Though this isn't one of mine. This is, um, I forget her name. Her first name is Megan. Uh, she did the Kawhi, she does the Kawhi Not comic. Um, and is a, is an artist herself, as well as uh, somebody who does visually interesting comics. So part of the reason why I've been silent the last couple months is, I'm not even sure I've been silent for a couple months, I've been silent for like a month and a half, is <laughs> one nano. I did nano this year and I kicked nano's butt, which is impressive for me because I'm not always the best at doing it. I, I have a ten it's like I don't write one novel, I have a tendency to work on like four novels consecutively and just, yeah, but they're all in the same universe so I can kind of justify doing it that way, but this year I actually figured out like two really big important things that were messing me up in the world that helps unify it. So, I now have a better structure, and I can maybe, like, actually finish everything, and they actually be coherent stories rather than, like, short stories of this greater universe, and yay. It's exciting for me. Okay, so there was Nano, but there's also the Art Garage's holiday show that I am still currently in because it's... that's the sound of Gnome coming home. <laughs> Because I'm in my garage. My gar studio is my garage. Um, but yeah, I had to, like, stay in production mode for that. So I produced, like, 15 more watercolor paintings and a bunch more buttons and bagged prints. Have you ever bagged prints? It is the most aggravating thing in the history of ever. But yes, that takes a lot, a lot of time. And then you have to, because, you know, it's inventoried for the show, which I need to get better at inventorying in general. I had to write out, I'm not even sure how many tags, and stick them on everything, and it was, it was like most of October and the first part of November kind of levels of, I am not pleased with the universe. And I also had to, well, okay, I don't have to, but I always try to produce a new piece when we have a, um, a quarter shift at the gallery because most people do not produce new work for it. So I was producing a new, new conceptual piece while I was doing all this very mundane, tedious stuff. And then after that, <laughs> there was the, 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 the the opening show, and then there was gallery night, and then there was meet the artist, and we are here. <laughs> this is what happens after I finally have a chance to nap for a little bit, and I had a really awful cold in there. Not that any of this matters, but yes, this is what it's like to be an artist. Everything around you just takes over your life, and next thing you know, it's been like a month and a half since you've done a vlog for the nice people on YouTube and for Lane. Hi, Lane. So, yes. <clears throat> so things I am hoping to work on in the new year, since this is kind of the end of year thing, is I'm going to continue with the photo a day series because I'm really liking it and I finally got like, you know, the little lenses that fit on your phone. Yay. <laughs> because I do snaps. I have an SLR, a uh, digital SLR and an SLR, but um, I actually prefer the snaps. I prefer the aesthetic of the snaps. I actually have um, got an Instamax too, and I have a couple of uh, art pieces planned for to use with that. So, but going to keep the photo a day 
because I like it and it's interesting and it makes me like take photos every day. I, I'm i going to try and have a central subject this time rather than whatever I feel like doing. So that's a little more unified, a little more consistent. I do think I'm going to keep with the um, abstract photography pixel related glitch art thing I've been doing, but I think I'm just going to make it a separate thing. Um, not so much of a, you know, whatever day, but just a thing that I do because I like it and I enjoy over-processing photos. Probably part of the reason why I don't necessarily get on with an SLR or digital SLR. <clears throat> I'm also going to keep the sketch a day because I, I really think that it's coming along and those I, my drawings coming along and I really want to move them more into less singular figures or you know a couple figures t together and more into up and up illustrations so but I, I think they're coming along and they become a basis for which you know I can make buttons and I can make paintings which was always the idea and you know y'all seem to like buying the drawings anyway. I mean, they really are sketches for me, which <laughs> at Gallery Net, we had the, I had a really weird conversation with multiple people insisting that they are complete pieces, and it's like, well, they might be complete pieces, but they're not actually, because if I consider them complete pieces, then I don't take chances. So I have to consider them sketches in my mind, that they're an ever-evolving thing rather than a stagnant process I've developed. I think it makes sense we're having this argument together. It was weird. I also got asked if I had considered animating my things and I, I'm not consistent enough yet to be able to animate so maybe that's something I can work on. Plus I got a new tablet, a Wacom tablet, so if I can, and I'm still getting a handle on it, it's like the, the, the transference of physical sketching into digital sketching is always very difficult for me to do. I, I can't explain why. I'm working on it. it. It just takes more practice. There are more hours of practice in the physical drawing than there is the digital. That's what's going on. Um, but if I can transfer one skill set to the other skill set, then I can animate things and that could be fun. I think I'm going to really spend some time with my, my loom this year too. The, this upcoming year. I, I haven't ever got, really gotten a chance to play with my little cricket loom and I think it's really a, a source for interesting, for possible interesting fiber, conceptual fiber art. So we're gonna do that. And yeah, basi basically expect more shenanigans from Tentacle Maid Studios because that's all we do here is shenanigans as I use the royal we. Alright, y'all have a good whatever you celebrate or if you have already celebrated your thing I hope it was fun and dandy I am going to go do other things because I have a million things to do including taxes because I am now a sole proprietorship with a tax code and things so I have to do stuff like that which I knew but I don't think it connected in my brain yet so yay have a happy whatever, or I hope that your thing was good, and I'm going to go. Bye.